With the Zmodeler brush selected, hover over an edge and press spacebar to open up the Zmodeler Edge Action menu. In here, locate the Collapse Action. With the Collapse Action selected, you'll see a series of targets down below. Let's first select the Edge Target. With the Edge Target selected, if you hover over an actual edge and click, it's going to collapse that edge. Now, depending on where you actually click on this edge, will determine in which direction the actual edge will be collapsed to. And then also, if you just click on the edge and then drag left or right after you have performed the action, it will rotate the collapse to either side. So now hovering over an edge again, pressing spacebar to go back into the Zmodeler Edge action menu, change the target to Hole. With the Hole target selected, if I come across an area of a model like so, where I just have a hole in my model, just click on one of these edges and it's going to take all the edges around this area here and collapse them to a single point. So you can see it took that entire hole there and collapsed it down to one single point on my model. Now hovering over a edge again, hold spacebar, and now let's select the target of poly loop. Now with the poly loop target selected, this will allow you to come through and depending on what edge you have selected, it will remove a poly loop near that actual edge. So if I hover over this edge here, you can see that I have a silhouetted poly, either above or below, depending on where my actual cursor is. And this is actually going to tell me which direction the poly loop will be collapsed. So if I hover over this edge, it's going to do it in a vertical fashion. And then if I hover over this edge, it's going to do it in a horizontal fashion. So to collapse the poly loop, just come across an edge and simply click, and it will collapse that actual poly loop. Now, where the poly loop collapses to will be determined on where your cursor is in relation to the edge you click on. So if I click over here, it's going to collapse that way. And if I click over here, it's going to collapse that way. Now once again, just like the actual edge target, if we use the poly loop target here and simply just click on the edge and then while clicking and holding, drag left to right, we can determine which side that actual poly loop collapses to as well. So using the different targets associated with the collapse edge action, you can come through and clean up topology areas on your model or generate large polygons or triangles where needed.